Hi guys, welcome back to Val's Kitchen. What I'm gonna be doing today, guys, I'm gonna do some barefoot aki in coconut milk. No salt in at all, guys. No salt fish, no corn pork, no salt mackerel, no red herring. It's just, I would say, barefoot aki with coconut, in coconut milk. Tell me if that sounds good, guys. So, you know, you have some people, they don't still don't eat salt fish, no type of fish at all, and can cook on them up in nice same way without any type of fish and it's still nice, right? So, we have the ingredients them over here. Got my haki, you know, we picked my haki already and uh, ready, to, ready to put it on the fire, clean it up and everything. I have tomato, I have garlic, skeleton on a piece of deli deli thyme. Cho. I have an onion, coconut powder to the rescue cooking oil pimento seed black pepper a little salt to taste so no said it's not nice we're not asking nobody you may know say it's not nice guys we don't care not test that anything with coconut milk it always come out nice so we'll put it together right so here's my water over here you know wow Right, we have all the water. I have to clean up and everything already. I'm gonna put a little salt. You know, I look up here by now, not because you know the rest of them gonna put a little salt though, but you know, I am not high tech, so I'm gonna put a little salt. You know, yes, I'm gonna put a little salt to taste. Right, guys, pre season the happy. Yes, everything already washed, man. Sure. <laughs> everything is already washed, so we want to look flavor, guys. Flavor your aki before you cook it. For our best result, flavor your aki before you cook it. So all of these wash already, and we know the drip. We know the stress, don't it? So put that, and cook on that with that for so now. Right? Yeah. So, guys. This is a pre-season my, my haki, you know, with a little pimento seed, with a little skin and thyme, a little pinch of salt. You know, and every time you want to eat this thing with a bag of salt. So guys, you know, can I make some suggestion down in the comment, comment down below and tell me what type of, like you call it, Italian dish. That's what you call it? Or vegetarian dish there. Mm -hmm. Vegan, with all the meat, something you don't want the meat, I don't want anything with a lot of salt and so. You know, give me give me ideas and thing so we can whip up something nice and share it with y'all. Alright, so I'm gonna start preparing my seasoning. As usual, my always wash them before. I mean I know why. So guys, you hear me say a while ago? My always wash them before. I don't know why. That is not what I'm supposed to say. And I must say, I always wash them ahead of time for the video. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know me always wash. Wash them with my arm, um, season them, or whatever. Use it before peeling them and stuff, you know. That is the reason. So, I have my, my garlic, guys. Man, I'm not gonna cook my aki without my garlic. Let me tell you, the main ingredients, my main ingredients, you know, guys. You know, already, you know, already, you know. That is telling you. It's kelion, garlic. Onion and black pepper. If you don't have anything else, when I have tomato, I don't have to use sweet pepper. No, right? Just give me my. See them here? Give me them here. These. Give me these. Yes, my hockey is sweet. See them just as is. Alright? Yes, guys. I know that the um, haki here got nice though. My, cook it, my mother used to cook it back in the days, you know. Back in the days without, without meat. I remember that vividly, you know. Just to make up our nice seasoning. Skellion and onion and garlic. And just make up our nice seasoning with that garlic. It would be nice. But guys, you know, so back in the days, things used to be nicer than now. It used to be nicer. Back in the days, things, I everything was different 
working them time. Yeah, different, different. Mm -hmm. So when we are when we're cooking nowadays, guys, we have to over, we have to excessive, we have to be excessive with our seasoning. Mm -hmm. As the food ain't gonna come out the right way, right? Pepper, so that the pepper. Let me know, guys. You don't know, I don't use ginger in my aki, right? Yeah, I don't use ginger, but I need a piece of hot pepper. Guys, tell me how long it has been since you all have aki. Fry up chicken back, fry the chicken back dry and cook it down with your aki. I think I'm gonna do a video. Tell me down in the comment if you all want to see me do a video. Yes, like that. Yes. How do you me love aki now, guys? God no, me eat my aki with anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that is this is a scallion now. Me, guys you know tell me if you think the same like me tell me guys tell me if you think the same like me because if me I put my akina and I don't have me, me no, no, me, me can use onion and um, garlic alone but then me not have the skin and you know I'm gonna feel good trust me trust me you know some people feel the same way still you know trust me mm -hmm. Too much. Like one day gonna eat it still. Yeah, make I put enough pepper, enough spices. This is good for me. Alright, so guys so remember you know pre-season hockey pre-season hockey yes best result pre-season hockey all right so you say them crack up they hockey them crack up so you know them cook but i'm still gonna try and test them good. right now them cracks here crack up them crack up man burst up okay you see them crack here man crack 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 you know the hockey cook right see yeah before i go through it so you know so they cook so I'm gonna turn off the stove I'm gonna pour off this water and come now and start the ball and roll yeah so guys the next step you know the aki finish cooking boiling not cook it finish boil so what I'm gonna be doing now is draining out the water and come and preheat my oil and start starting the vegetables and season and stuff like aki alright so I'm cooking oil guys not a lot, just to saute the veggies. I know the custard and the coconut milk. The custard is going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. oh, I did make the scissor sound. You know. <laughs> the scissor sound makes a difference, you know, guys. Time, guys. 
Hello. Here's a coconut powder. <laughs> that is natural coconut milk here. Yes. I'm not gonna use a full pack because I don't have it. Right? So, guys, I can use warm water here to get the flavor out. Use some warm water. Here's my tomato guys, I'm gonna put it in the pot. I really eat pot, it's two slices of bread so it's gonna help. Okay, so I'm gonna eat with it. Two dumplings. Cook two dumplings guys. Put in the coconut milk at this point. <clears throat> just turn it down and let it just be coating, right? See, my daughter get a nice custard, all right? Yes, guys, so this is where it reached so far, but I, I want to go down some more. You know, I want it to go down just a bit more and then I can put in my hockey. Alright? Yeah, I don't want it too watery. I need more custody. You know, more custody. <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh my god. Alright, so. Wait, really, it's not like it can go, you know, you know. Because we need the hockey to sit to come together nicely in this juice, you know. So, let me just put in my hockey now. Whoopsies. Sorry. Wow. It smells nice. See guys, I wish you from all were right here to just smell. Smell. I put in some black pepper. But still I'm gonna this going on, make everything sit up and Cook, you know, man, make it the apple get all the flavor, you know, the coconut and milk, you know, guys. You don't want the apple to be mushy or mushy or mash out too much, so not too much stirring, right? Mighty gosh, man, oh my god, guys, it's so awesome! It's so awesome! Let's cover it down now and let it sit for five minutes. Let all the flavors come together. Alright guys, this is it. It's so awesome. Look at this. Look at this guys. Look at this. I'm so excited. First night is something like this. Come, show them. Come. Wheat. It couldn't nice. I couldn't want it any nicer than this. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna turn on the stove. <laughs> Guys, tell me the truth. Would you all try something like this? Or you have it already? And tell me, you say yes, man. Well, you know, some eat that already really nice. Yeah, man. That is it, guys. I'm gonna make two dumplings. I'm gonna make two dumplings on camera for going my hockey, my beer food, hockey, coconut, milk. Tell me one. Milk, I get it up. I love it already. We just know that it's sweet. Yes. Yeah, so let me light the stove. I'm gonna make the dumpling.
<laughs> you know what I'm when you're, when you're making your, your cornmeal dumpling, your cornmeal always less than the flour, don't you guys? Yeah, that is not what I do. My cornmeal always less than the flour. Finish it now with my hand. Alright, so Breadfruit is a nice with it too. Mm -hmm. Breadfruit, nice sweet yellow roasted breadfruit. Wow. Remember to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, turn on the bell, turn on the post notification so you won't miss an upload. See you all in the next video and bye. Hmm. I have to give you my honest opinion because I never had this before. This is the first time cooking it like this. You know? But implement the seed here. First time having it like this, guys. See there. People have it like this with the, with, the, with the coconut milk, but I never first time. But it's it's crazy. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's more watering.
tell me, tell me the truth if I'm just faking all the food lies. Or my real and them something there. God no, the food nice, it's nice, it's nice guys, it's real nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice, for sure. Mm -hmm. Guys, you know say, it coming to me like this is better with, without the salt fish, the coconut milk. I'm not telling any lie. I'm not over overreacting. Yeah, for real.